So yeah, I found a knocking a little blazer comes from me. probably oh what's it called? Anyway, between the transmission and engine. It doesn't feel like the engine and transmission are completely bolted together. And the converter converter is knocking. Uh, I'm hoping it's a bad converter, but I'm fearing it's the, the bands for the third and fourth gear. Anyway. In true bootleg fashion, I didn't feel like bothering with that today. I mean, not that I could. I don't have a converter or a transmission. So instead... Yeah, I haven't finished or continued this either. There's some floor bits. But, I think I'll just go and try a start instead. Just need to fill up on the old ketchup. Ketchup with the ketchup. I also started working again. That sucks. I mean, it doesn't suck. It's fine but man do I hate getting up early in the morning just about the worst thing ever I do not think I'm made for that to be perfectly honest uh, jungle juices Gasoline, as we pretend to call it. Fuck. Uh, terrible, shitty. 95 octane ethanol fuel. Smells bad. Corrodes everything. So, yeah. At least the weather is nice. So yeah, it's my 66 DeVille with a 472 in it. It's been someone's drinking car. A lot of people's drinking car for quite a few years so it's mangy and of course no windows it doesn't exactly make it any better Let's see if we can pop this hood Where's that damn thing? Well, gotta get some tools. I'll get back to you on that. So yeah, my old Exos hanger trick did it. It's had quite a dent in the front so you can't really reach that through the grill without mangling your fingers and I don't feel like mangling my fingers anyway there's a 472 well engine compartment so big there's an echo in there 
Anyway. It's a 472 with a quarter get on it. Yeah. On negative. There's all kinds of rust and bullshit and crap with this car. It's just an old piece of junk. No one else wanted. So I bought it for a modest sum of money. And honestly, I've not been offered more for it either. I think I paid a thousand bucks for the entire car and drove it home with no windows. I might have a clip of that somewhere. If I do, I'm gonna put it right here. when it starts overflowing from this little bugger. Let's see if she'll start. I don't know if the key will even turn. Look, bird nest dashboard. Oh. Oh. There's a spiders, spiders. It's just orb weaver weavers. Not dangerous, but Annoying. Yeah. I mean, so it's a pretty good engine. <laughs> Apparently. She just does that, and I don't think she sucks any fuel from the tank. Then again, I'm not sure if there even is any fuel in the tank. It might just be completely dry, for all I know, or... Uh, all kinds of things are sticking. Could actually check if there's anything coming from the fuel pump. Might just be the carburetor filter being fucked. For all I know. But then again, she's been sat here outside with no cover. For... Sorry about that. For who knows how many years. Oh, I know, it's like four, but still. Come on. I'm having a hard time doing that one-handed. Well, let's give that another try. Nope, there's nothing. Dry. As hell. So it's either the fuel pump or just 
you know, nothing there to begin with. I could just find some hose and run it off a little tank, see what it does. First, that fuel go again. It goes down there somewhere. Oh, yeah, there. Fuel pumps down there. Anyway, this is just to see if it would still run, which is sort of a relief in itself. I mean, it's just sitting to death like everything else I got, but... <laughs> Thing is stuck and fucky. And probably, what is that? Do we actually have lights? Incredible. Right. The secondaries are a bit sticky. This is also why I like Holy carburetors better than the quad quadra jets and the like. Bigger fuel bowls. They won't just run out instantly. Forward and reverse, reverse gear, and a little lake. Put your fish in. I don't know. Maybe yellow. Ah, people. Ah, uh, crusty roof. No real seats. If anyone's got seats, just give them to me. Give them to me. And I'll say thank you. Anyway. Do those work? No, they do not. Do we have any lights? Well, yeah. Rear lights. License plate lights. And probably no headlights, because I didn't have headlights the last time I drove it. But I've got the marking lights. And no headlights. Let's see if we give it a little... Little clicker clicker. Ah, nothing. But yeah, I think the old girl's girl deserves a revival. I need to weld up the window frames and uh, remove some rust. Frame and all that was good last year, so I can't imagine it being any worse because this, all this filler material is old concrete. So yeah, Cadillac Revival, 
or do I revive the Fargo 3.3 diesel? That's the question. This one needs quite a bit of welding. <coughs> Pardon me. As I was saying, it needs quite a bit of welding or a new cab. I have a parts cab with that entire section complete and the parts I need for the roof complete as well. Uh, I thought this was a 24 volt engine, so I gave uh, the old glow plugs a 24 volt and uh, they didn't like that. Apparently it's 12. So now it won't start because these do need glow plugs. It's not that hot here. But I got new glow plugs. I just need to soak these in something. And then she should be all right. Though I am tempted if there's enough battery things here. This one's a ground and this one's a plus. Just to try giving her a little, little, little. Because why not? Oh, come on. Come on now. Did you know I have a pinched nerve in that finger? Son of a bitch. Inconsiderate, but I suppose I deserve it. Fuck. I did buy this battery new like eight years ago, so I'm kind of impressed it still works with my use or misuse, whatever you want to call it. Also, no charging light. It might even be charging. Wonderful. Starter. Oh yeah, she turns over just fine. No problems there. It's just... <laughs> Probably not. These are temperamental engines. And no glow means no go. I have gotten it fired once on ether and fucking just a heater into the intake. So there is life. There is actually life. No water though, because because it drained it. Can we can we do the the right thing and stick the throttle open with a little rock? Can we do that? That's a stop. So that's the throttle. Bitch is tall. He's too tall for me. I don't 
don't think she wants that, but don't we have some other fuckery? Remember the stop lever is there. <laughs> Fucking minty. Come on, channel your inner slave lake. Come on. So it's not getting the fuel from the intake, it's it got the fuel I sprayed in through the fucking reverse blowout valve bitch thing. Alright. How did you like that? Apparently not. I suppose. I don't think she's even got some gas in her. She's a, got a masterfully overhaul starter by me. I'm quite amazed that that thing hasn't caught fire yet. But you know. Probably will someday, and I'll be vindicated. But for now, I'm just gonna let her be. Uh, yeah, might just get some of that good juice and put on her. Put on her little plugs, so I can maybe get them out tomorrow. That'll be fairly nice. So yeah. Come on. Who doesn't love a grill like that? A serial killer car killer car if I ever saw one. But uh well fine. Be like that. Of course the uh, Van crew might be the more murderous looking <laughs> cars I have. Anyhow, I'm gonna lube this bitch up and uh, then I'm gonna sit myself down and have a beer, I think. Because I started job, it's work at six and it's what, approximately eight o'clock in the evening. And I want to relax some. So, uh, I'll see you guys later. I'll probably start on the Cadillac someday. But not today. So, bye. <laughs>